What's going on guys? I know it's been a long time since we put up a video. Not really a long time, but it's been more than uh, what I would like. But We're back today. This is going to be kind of a vloggy style adventure. It's going to be pretty fun. We've got a couple of things we're going to be getting into today. Um, and I've got these two kids standing on the other side of the camera and I think they have something to say. Today we are going to a bookstore. And I'm going to a pet store to get uh, a two dozen crickets from my new baby leopard gecko. Do you want to show everybody? Yes, definitely. Maybe? This guy's been asking to go to the bookstore for a while. He likes to read. So yes. we're going to go see if we can find any cool books for him to get. Maybe some, uh, what kind of books are you looking for? Things because I got a DS. Yep, so Uncle Joey, you guys know him, gave Kane a Nintendo DS, the original, for his birthday. And a game. Pretty cool, huh? And yesterday, we went to GameStop and I got this game. What is it? S say, say the name Brain Age, train your brain in days. In minutes of days. <laughs> <laughs> I need that actually. And Aaron's birthday was just recently too. Mm -hmm. He got. I got one of these cool old CRT TVs, a color one. It's, it's a portable. You want to just take us to your room and show us the other little guy? Yeah, let's show the leopard guy. After you. After you, Musa. <laughs> All right, this is my leopard gecko setup. Uh. The leopard gecko should be in here. Oh, there he is. The leopard gecko's name is Stripes. We're not sure if it's a boy or a girl. We bought it at Pet Sims. He's really cool, though. He's got some awesome little markings on him. Mm -hmm. we yeah. He's already eaten almost a dozen crickets today. And whenever I tap the glass with his little wooden thing he'll like be like crickets where are they where are they it's like the dinner bell for him huh? Mm -hmm. so yeah he's pretty cool and Aaron actually has another leopard gecko uh -huh. as well you should show that one off too while we're here he'll go back in there in just a minute mm -hmm. he's pretty cool, cool. Mm -hmm. definitely so that's Aaron's birthday present this is my other leopard gecko his name is Leo <gasps> So oh, this leopard gecko is quite a bit older. Yes. She's quite a bit bigger. And Very her name is Leo. Older. She's a big old girl. Yeah, there's there's a little heart on her head too. Ooh. This was actually a present. She's a big old girl. Yep, your Uncle Dylan got her for you, right? Yep. There. And he loves her. Mm -hmm. She's spotted, not striped, which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. I actually saw a spotted one at Petsons too. There's three different kinds of morphs. These things have a very fat... Oh boy, she wants down. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> they got a fat tail. They're kind of cool. Uh -huh. So this one's name's Leo. The other one's name is Stripe. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> P.S. Aaron has something he wants to say. Stripes is spelt like... S T R Y P E S. I never knew that. Oh, where is it? Huh. Valentine's stuff. What do you know? All right. Let's see. Valentine's. Really? Oh, yeah. No way. What do you need me to do, baby? I don't know. Maybe I'll try to get in there, I guess. Let me lift y'all ass up in there. You can climb in. As long as I don't lose my shoes. Oh, it's been like a long time since we have uh, been out. Been out, so yeah, this is kind of cool to actually see stuff. I'm gonna empty this box. Stacy's emptying the box, getting it ready to fill up with goodies. Yes, definitely. Some yeah. Valentine's goodies, she says. Oh, no way. 
that's like all of the uh, the cards, the Valentine's nice. cards. The kids' cards. Yeah. Cool. Here's a nice box for me to sit on and get comfy. Might as well get comfy while I'm in the dumpster, right? Might as well. I've been drinking that one. I'm gonna get that soap too. That's right there. It smells good. It's a body wash. Nice. Nice. Because we're currently out of body wash right now, aren't we? Yes. I've been using shampoo to wash with. <laughs> That's so cool. I love we're the way that works anymore. out. Okay. Uh, Valentine's cards. For sure. Drop Okay. I don't know where they're falling when I drop them. Because I'm sitting in a dumpster hanging out. Here you go. Step over here. <clears throat> Sucker's loaded. That has body wash on it. Ah, more Valentine's cards. Oh, brother. That's a good view of you, I guess. Huh? So that's a good view of you, I guess. <laughs> These have body wash soap on them. Kind of, too. I'll tell you what, that last one you threw had body wash on it. Yeah? It landed flat against my arm and almost stuck to it. in the box I mean yeah true how yeah. gross are they just don't lick your fingers and you'll be all right I mean I'm grabbing them and touching them clearly Kool-Aid ones you said you wanted Kool-Aid the other day I did do you think it actually has Kool-Aid in them probably that'd be cool <clears throat> so yeah it's been a long time since we've been out diving I don't even know how long, but it's been a while. Maybe two weeks, close oh, to. Oh, I'm gonna need to just went through whatever box. So it's nice to get out and actually uh, start off the trip oh, by finding something. Goodness. It's kind of nice. Okay. We got the kiddos over there in the truck. Ooh, see those are stuck together. <laughs> the kiddos are in the truck playing with their tech decks. They recently got into uh, those little finger skateboards, you know. And instead of going and spending a lot of money on some new ones, we found somebody that was selling a used set. So we picked up, I'll show you how much it is. It's kind of crazy. Is there anything in there? I don't know, I don't think so. It seems like it's an empty box that I'm on top of. All right, I'm gonna say that's it. Okay. I'm done. Well done, darling, well done. Climb out of here. Yay. Oh gosh. All right, perfect. A load of boxes. Tons of it, huh? Smile. Uh oh. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't think so. No. These are just bags of stocking trash. Yeah, this is uh, what we found for the kids for like 25 bucks. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, we're just playing. Came with a
with all these skateboards. There's like 20 in there. And then this whole tote is filled with this. Tote Ramps and a boards. Now, if you just go buy this stuff from the store, it's stupid expensive. And then the kids play with it for a, a couple of weeks time. and then they get bored. So it's always better to buy it used. You like it? Uh -huh. It's just your fingers, dude. Come on. Ow, ow. ow. <laughs> See if there's anything in here or not. Definitely does not look like it. <laughs> it looks like kitty litter stuff, so no, nothing in this one. sure what that is but there's a tool in there let's go put it in before somebody comes out maybe there's something else hiding in here I don't even know what that is we just grabbed. We'll have to look in just a minute. Well, nothing good in here, not today. We do have an auction coming up here next week though, so it should be pretty good. Hoping to roll up here one day and uh, empty. Find the couch to my recliner in there maybe. Well, that's it for that one. We don't have a whole lot to go over, but alongside the valentine stuff that we found you guys saw a pretty good uh, look at that we found some body wash which is cool because we were getting pretty low it's kind of crazy you know uh, when you need something or you run out of something the dumpsters just kind of provide a lot of you guys who get out there and do what we do know exactly what i'm talking about i'm sure so pretty cool so just because we haven't uploaded in quite a while doesn't mean we haven't been filming so what i'm gonna do is go ahead and roll in all of the footage that we filmed over you know since we've been missing and uh, at least it'll be a little bit of a timeline of what we've been up to well it's a little bit later in the day i'm back home uh, stacy went to my brother's house to go get her hair done and uh, she checked a couple of dumpsters out while she was out and she actually found some pretty cool stuff so we'll show you that when she gets back as far as our outing earlier um we found what you saw we found uh, we found the body wash, which is pretty cool. It's like something, 10 bottles or so about. Found some uh, Valentine's Day stuff, which is kind of cool. And also we found that big tool case. What that was, was a big electric hammer. The tool itself was not in there, but the bits were. And I'm thinking those might sell pretty good on eBay. So we're going to check that out later. Um, so we're waiting on Stacy to get home and in the meantime speaking of eBay Do you guys remember? Uh, these sports cards that we found it was in an older video and they've just been kind of sitting in storage since then but Yeah Got some Star Wars uh, What is this one some basketball Some football And uh whatever that is never even heard of that so anyway these cards were not very valuable when we first found them uh, as I'm sure a lot of you guys know that dumpster dive if you found any of these uh, some time has passed I guess it's been about a year since we found these and uh, turns out turns out these cards here in particular have gained value quite a bit um, apparently there's a football player that ended up doing pretty good and his rookie card is in here and it's a pretty sought after card so if you have any of these you should definitely list them up because now's the time to sell 
or hold on to them. Maybe they'll grow in value over time. But I believe the card is Lamar Jackson. And honestly, I didn't even know this. My brother, Joey, uh, he's the one that filled me in on it because he's a big sports guy. So, yep, we're listing these up now. Let's see what we can get out of them. This is our current eBay setup right now. We have our dumpster chair and a sheet draped over it with our little ring light to take pictures of them. Pretty cool. So as I said, Stacy did a little bit of diving while she was out getting her hair done. She had to have some help loading it, but uh, there it is. So this is one of the, uh, oh my gosh. It's one of the big uh, expensive reptile ones. It's got a crack in the side, which oh, isn't. that is a pretty bad one. Uh oh, I didn't know it was that bad. It doesn't. It's a reptile habitat, you know? Glued. Yeah. Let's piece it back in there and glue it and it's good. I agree. I have some clear silicone too. Cool. Yep, yep. It's massive and it's huge. It's very big. These are like close to $300 brand new. Yeah. So not a bad find at all. Definitely not. Pretty good. Alright, let's go check the river out. A little more current than it was last time we were here. And we'll just have to watch out for that big tree that was across the little path up here. If it's still here, because I think there was another one here as well. We we'll just have to be careful. Go ahead and start backpedaling because I hear some. We're gonna have to go ahead and get out. <sighs> Did y'all see that fish jump though? Let's see what it looks like. Are we gonna be able to sneak around the tree? What the heck? <laughs> Never know what you're going to find in the river after a flood. That's kind of cool. <clears throat> yeah, looks like you could make it, but that is kind of sketchy. So I'm going to go up and around. My brother and his girlfriend are here as well. So I'm going to wait on them so they don't go down in here but I did see a little fish jump in there though so that's kind of promising my brother up there lost his kayak I'm hanging out here so I can help him get around that tree over there under the bridge We are golden. Uh oh. That wasn't too bad. So much fun. Gotta be sure and hit our spot up here. We're gonna be fishing in the same place we were the other day. I'm hoping that this current that's moving through will funnel the fish into concentrated pockets of water and we'll be able to catch them a little easier all right i like it so far 
Let's get some bait out there and see what we can catch. You want a bridge? No? Should be alright. Okay. I know, I know it does get a little deep there. Not too bad though. Dude, I'm excited right now, man. Is the current strong? Not really, I'm just trying to find out where it's set. Okay. Yep, yep. I docked in right here, dude. It was perfect. Just you don't think you're gonna have hell getting this thing back? I mean, I'll drag it on the rocks like I did the other day if I if I have to. I'm honestly, I'm honestly, honestly, I'm all excited. I'm talking fast. That's right, Taylor. I'm kind of curious to see how it is paddling oh, against the shit. current. Is that a circle hook? Is yours over hers? I think. Go up and over with it. No, 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 no. Come down. You go down and under. I think you go up and over. There you go. Let's see if that works. I wonder if that was you. No, it wasn't me. That was definitely a fish. I wasn't touching the shit with it. Maybe just let it sit for a minute. You came in a little bit. You should be pretty close to that hole I was talking about. A good tug. Well, so far no fish. Tried a couple of different spots. The sun is setting. And I guess it's time to go home. It's hoping to uh, maybe catch some dinner, but it just didn't work out that way. Uh, my brother, he caught one little fish, but it was a throwback. He was just too small. So I'm gonna try and get out of here before dark. So I guess we'll see y'all in a little bit. What's going on guys? It is a new day. Today, we're going to devote the entire day. We might get into some dumpsters, but for sure we're going to devote the better part of the day to working on the garden here. We're, uh, we're doing a raised bed garden, so we're going to fill this entire perimeter up. The two by fours, it's a, uh, what is it, it's 20 by 20 square. And then we're going to put a fence up around it. On the inside, we're going to fill these here with our growing media and uh, that's how we're going to do it. This is one entire truck bed of mulch. We're probably going to do about five more, so a lot of shoveling today. Now we're getting a load of mulch. We are loaded. <laughs> Cool. Now I get to go do some shoveling. <laughs> yep. All right, load number two, done. I think it's gonna take about five total. That's what I'm thinking. This is two, and 
and it's a little maybe around half i think five will get it good and leveled out six inches all the way across we'll go load up again all right we're about to get our second load now look at this dang dog she's been riding like this for like the last 20 miles She's so soaking up that air conditioner. <laughs> it's not even hot. How hot is it? How warm is it, I should 76. say? 76. She's got a big old thick coat of fur. That's too. true. Stacy had a DNA test done on Myla and she found out she's part wolf. Or. No, her. Um, she comes from a family of wolves, jackals, yeah. and coyotes. It's part she's of her. She's 100% German Shepherd. It's kind of cool, though, actually. She's a rare type of German Shepherd, I guess you would say. She ain't normal, that's for sure. <laughs> no, no, she's not. She's weird. And that's where Petty gets it from, too. Her jackalness. <laughs> she looks like a freaking jackal. She does. I know. Let's see if Mala starts freaking out again. Yeah. Gosh, her eyes. Is that Myla? This stuff's heavy. There it is. What do okay. you say? Uh, to pull some of the sticks out and he'll put more in it. Oh, cool. <laughs> yes. He's like, I'll put a little bit more in there. I said, yeah, sure. He said, pull the sticks out. I'll put more in it. All right. Said, okay. Well, you can go on because that's that's a full load right there. Okay. So, yeah. I guess it should be mentioned that this place that we're getting mulch from, number one and the most important is it's free. Yes. Which is great. Uh, number two, it is about what 30 minutes from the house? Yeah. About 30 minutes from the house, so. It's not far at all. So, about usually takes about 10 minutes to get them out here to get you loaded up, 30 minutes from the house, uh, about another 30 minutes back to the house, call it another 30 hey. minutes to unload. Hey, hey, hey. So, Mouse, please, thank you. It's a little, it's a little time consuming, but. It's worth it. It'd be cheaper if we, uh, not cheaper, it wouldn't be cheaper. It'd be easier if we rented like a dump trailer or something, but we like free and cheap. So that's what we're doing. Ah, I'm gonna hold her first. No, Myla. We have to smooth out the load. Stay. Gosh, it's a letter. <laughs> We're up here. Ew. Should have brought a uh, shovel for this. And up he goes to smooth it out. That's a big load. <laughs> Having fun digging in it? Yeah. Is that good? <gasps> get pulled over <laughs> okay so I get to drive with all this crap in the back it's like fun Woo okay more sticks to get out too all right we ready all right all right guys the next load is down Stacy's gonna run and go get another load and then me and dad is gonna go check out a tractor that he found for a pretty good deal be careful okay, love you Probably. Okay. All right, I'll give you Bye. All right, so uh, the garden, check it out. It's pretty well done. A lot of shoveling, a lot of shoveling. I want to say there's probably 
I, I don't even know. There's a ton, a ton of mulch in there though. It was quite the undertaking. We still gotta go around the perimeter. We're gonna come about six to eight inches off of the border and kind of create a ramp all the way around to cover that up so there's not grass coming up right next to it as well. But this is it. For the most part, we still gotta put the rest of the beds in and fill the beds. We got two beds filled right now. And that's just topsoil, but um, eventually we're gonna add some compost and stuff like that to it. So, pretty cool. So I mentioned the tractor to you guys. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and put up a picture of it right now and then I'll tell you a little bit about it. So this tractor has been sitting for about 10 years and it comes with two implements. I'll show a picture of those now. So the tractor ran when it was parked. It's been sitting for about 10 years. The word on it is the starter went out. It's uh, this old lady, my dad, uh, takes care of her yard and goes and helps her out with different things and it was it was actually her dad's tractor it's been sitting for quite a while but she just wants to get rid of it she decided to sell it to us so here it sits this is the old tractor it's a 1940 Ford 9N it's pretty cool it's pretty darn cool the back tires aren't in the best of shape but they hold air, and that's all that really matters. Uh, so, so far, we've added a new carburetor. We've added a new starter. Ignore our pine saw gas tank. I have another gas tank come. Well, actually, I ordered a new gas tank, but it wasn't the right one. So, uh, everything seems to be functioning as it's supposed to. It's going to need a new radiator before too long. This one's pretty ate up, but it does still hold water, so... For the uh, for the immediate future, that's going to work for now. We'll get another one ordered. They're kind of expensive, though. Uh, the last thing that I need to do is pull off the distributor and coil and clean it up, and then we'll have us a running tractor. I've had to put this little project on hold, though, because two reasons. I haven't been feeling good here lately, and uh, well, I've got a ton of other stuff that I got going on too. So. Hopefully within the next couple of videos, you guys will see this 80 year old tractor running for the first time in probably 10 years or better. So, pretty cool. Oh, there we go, that one turned on. Yeah. Let's go take a peek and see what's in this one. Here, ah. Um, looks like some, or a bunch of illegal dumpy stuff maybe. That's empty of course, ugh, yeah. What are you doing, Aaron? Don't touch anything. Crap's heavy. Okay, there's nothing. I don't remember, buddy. Ew. Huh, I wonder what's up with this. I guess somebody chunked it. It's got some straps around it. But... Yeah, it looks like somebody dumped their crap in here. Must be dumped there. Oh, look. More dump. Alright, well, move it on. So apparently it was a legal dump day, unfortunately, but I mean sometimes you find stuff, sometimes you don't. Completely normal, unfortunately. But um thank you all for watching. We'll be back with another video as soon as we can. About a day or so. Yeah, about a day or so. Here pretty quick. Hi Daddy. All of them standing here staring, wanting to go out and play. Milo hinting to me. <laughs> <laughs>